Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! Let's continue exploring the town of Habsburg. Oh, right, yeah, I already talked to everyone on this screen. I think that, if I recall correctly, this city is divided into three areas? Oh, well, whatever works for you. It's good to get fresh air. And natural light. Usually. Natural light! Get it off of me! Man, is everyone an asshole in this game? Yeah, pretty much. So, it all pretty much cancels out, really. Let's see, by the bar here... Haha! -ha, hidden pleasure! Oh, yeah, I gotta take him out. Well, we've been doing that for quite a while. I didn't know you were a botanist, Geltz. Well, let's check out the bar. Maybe we can get some information here. Yeah, a lot of people were saying, H.C. Bailey, why did the Defiled Compass point to the Gurgis Monastery for the the Wicked Stone if we already had the one back at, well, wherever we were before there. And honestly, I don't know. Probably something that they didn't think about. How's it going? Well, good for you. Yeah, you could buy drinks from her, but I don't, well, they're not worthwhile. I like how if you talk to the magicians, yeah, you get a little sound effect there. Was that just a pig squealing there? Uh, okay. It's an odd choice for a sound effect there for a singer. Okay, we need to go to the house by the bar. There we are. Yeah, because they got some more treasure here. Let's see. Haha! <laughs> I'll just steal the food that they were cooking in there. See if they got any other food around here. Ah! Well, no one lives here, so they won't need it. There's nothing in the fireplace up here. Although I do like how they have the two fireplaces, one on top of the other like that here, which, well, would make logical sense. Let's see, if we go around the back here... Ha-ha! Wow! 50 potions! Holy cow! Those things sell for a lot of money! Damn it! Game! Ha ha. Yeah, we only get three of them. They still sell pretty good, though. Well, what do you mean? Oh. I guess. Not sure what the point of all that was, but okay. Okay, let's check out the park there. There's some treasure we can get here, too. Oh. Was that just a rooster crowing? I'm an engineer, not a biologist. That must be a pretty rich town, huh? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Hey, hey! Not that I really need the money. Or that little amount of money, but... Oh, okay. Isn't that more like a Harlequin? Oh. Good for him. Oh. I'd make a reference to the new Stephen King's It movie, but I haven't seen it.
Oh. Well, maybe you should become a custodial engineer. Someone's got to keep the place clean. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Nice, huge tracts of land. Let's see, I think it's this one. Ha ha! Why they have bombs sitting in a lamppost like that, I don't know, but it's there. I guess Killian's just gotten used to it by now. Oh, um, yeah, take what you can get. Maybe they should go to a bar or something. Gotta meet new people somehow. Oh, right. Okay, what else do we got here? Hmm, did I go into that house? Ah, yeah, that was with the, the lovebirds there. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Not at the end. Anything in the mailbox? Uh, okay. Oh. Did I really lose? Oh, okay. I guess we lost. 5 MP or something? However that works. Okay. Hmm. Can't get into that house. Yeah, sometimes they just put buildings there just as background. You can't even do anything with them like that. Well, good for you. It's not selling stuff to me, evidently. No, I, th I think I'm good. I don't need that 5 MP back. Let's see, do we have anything up here even? Okay, how's it going? Oh, okay, they won't let me talk to you. How about you? Well, at least you got the rhyming gig down. Gotta have that if you're gonna make music. Okay, let's see. The next house here, though, I believe there's some treasure in one of the flowers around here. Like this one? No. Haha! -ha! Let's see, I think that gives you silence immunity, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I never really use. Immun status immunity items. Or at least very... No, I don't use the immunity ones. I prefer just to wait until we actually have a status to deal with and then remove it. The only time I might really consider something like that is like maybe for the confusion status since you couldn't cure it yourself. Hey! Ow! Seven thousand gelder! Okay, let's see. There's one hidden treasure up here. Hey, how's it going? Let's see, in the clock. Ha ha! That'll cure the sleep status, I think. Ah. Oh. oh, well, good for you! Let's see. Let me double check on that alarm clock there. Yeah, that cures it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not especially worried about that. Hey, Engelhide, how's it going? Yeah, kind of got thrown in jail and everything, but otherwise everything's doing great. Oh, okay. Oh, what's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? 
more side quests. By the way, now that we're in Chapter 2, we can't go back to the areas in Chapter 1. So, just something to keep in mind for the future whenever you go to a new chapter. Oh, okay. Well, we were heading in that direction anyway. Although, you can do this side quest right away. I usually like to wait until later on when I have more levels. Because the enemies in that area are really difficult at this point. And I could use some more abilities to help deal with them. Alright, more side quests. They don't have too many of them in the game, but they're there. Englehide doesn't give all of them. In fact, we got another side quest that we can do right away here that I'll be taking care of in just a moment. Twelve figures? Holy crap! Well, no wonder you're settling for others. But anyway, we got the last treasure that we can get around here, at least to my knowledge. What's a Viscount? I don't think I've ever heard that word before. I mean, I'm guessing it's like a rank, like a count or something. Or maybe like a vice count. Oh, really? Can I see anything in the mailbox? No! Okay, well, we got... Let's see, an item shop that I passed up there. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else around here. I'm going to go to the mirror shop in a moment. But first things first, let's see what we got here. Okay, no more people here. Let's see, I want to go to... Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go up here first, and then I'll go to the shops to start buying stuff. Okay, how's it go? Um, not really. Maybe Spinel might want one. Okay, before proceeding forward, let's make it back. Oh, no, no, we got the save. I'm pretty sure. I did. Right? Oh. What's going on? Are, are they your children? I mean, just pick them up and throw them out of the house. Oh. Yeah, sure, why not? So this doesn't actually go into your quest log, I don't think. But we do have a little side quest that we can do with the babysitting. So, yeah, sure, why not? So, what are these kids doing? Oh, just rough housing, I guess. Did you just throw a plunger at me? I didn't quite get a good look at that. Yeah, he's got a plunger stuck to his head. <laughs> okay, that is pretty funny. Well, you're about to. Well, yeah, we've been in jail for at least 10 days. And I don't think they have a shower here. Oh, now you've just pissed her off. For boss time against little kids. Yeah, I don't know, viewers. But first things first, let's get a good wave strike going here. Discipline feels good! Okay, let's go... That, and... I think that's all of my multi-targeting stuff. Okay, sometimes if they survive that, I would use medium bombs against them. 
but it appears that I don't need to do that. And let's go with a good Take this. That's how a Chevalier handles business. Well, that was easy enough. Aw, oh, man. Well, I want to get a Joker card out of this fight, but we didn't get it yet. So I'm just going to take a moment to reload until I get the Joker card from them. So I'll be right back. You should have retreated. Hey, all right. Second try. Not bad. Not bad. So, oh, okay, I was going to say, seems kind of odd fighting kids like that. Okay, then quiet down. Because they're little kids? Because you're making a ruckus? Then go somewhere else. Man, even the little kids in this game are assholes. Well, you could go out to the woods where they have some monsters. That wouldn't be as boring. Oh, okay. Is this going to involve another side quest? I have no idea what that is, but okay. I... I don't want to know. What's up? More what? Oh, okay. Sorry if I'm going through some of the dialogue boxes a little quickly. Well, that was easy. Sounds like a plan. Where do we get that? Like an item shop? Oh. Yeah, that's probably true. And I've got a lot of important stuff to buy. What's this? What's with that dramatic... drumming? I'm not sure what happens if I choose one or the other, but okay. Did... Did we just kill them? What's wrong with you, game? Okay. I don't think it matters which option you choose for whatever just happened there. I don't know, but... Well, they pay enough for the babysitting, so... All right. Okay, let's see. First things first, I want to head to the item shop. Okay, how's it going? Let's see, even in item shops, at least this one, they have some equipment here. Well, pretty much everything in the game is going to cost a lot. Okay, let's see what you got here. Okay, we got amulets, which is another equipment type that we have here. So, let's see. Yeah, they got these elemental gems that you can use to change the element of your weapon. I'm not going to buy them right now, but later on I'll eventually want to do that. If you're playing ahead of me, buy a whole bunch of holy gems, like nine or ten of them, before you leave the chapter because you won't be able to buy any more for the rest of the game. Let's 
the elemental resistance bracelets I don't really care about. Strength amulets I do care about. So let's grab a couple of those. We only need two because we're going to find more later. Let's see. For the strength amulets, let's give them to Killian. Oh. I thought I was buying two of them. Okay, I must have... Okay, let's try that again. And let's see. Guts. Let's give you one. And let's see what they sell at this one. Hmm, just regular items. Although the Monster Compendium can be pretty useful because you just have it in your inventory and it'll show the level, the elemental weakness, and the elemental attack of all enemies. So whenever you hover your target arrow on the enemies, that would, it would show up there. So that's pretty nice. Oh, well, okay, let's see what you got. And I definitely want to buy stuff here because it'll last us for the entire chapter. Let's see, let's get a sledgehammer there for Gelts. Get some better armor there too for Spinel, Henson, and Gelts there. Let's see, if I have the money, I'd like to be able to buy hobnail boots. And I think that should be good. Now, I'm not going to buy uh, any other new weapons. It doesn't really matter for Henson. Spinel, we're going to find a better weapon for her eventually. Same thing for uh, Ladak there. And, well, we already got the Claymore for Killian. So that's good enough for him. Okay, let's see what we got here then. Oh, and I'm not buying body armor for Killian, because we're also going to find some stuff for that, too. Okay, so Gelts, let's get you some better weaponry there. It's wholly elemental, so that'll help you out, too. Okay, then, let's see, Spinel, we got some new armor for you. And, let's see, Henson, we also got better armor. That'll help you out a lot. Unfortunately, there is no better armor to buy for Lodic there. And let's see, for Spinel, let's give you these hobnail boots. I don't want to use my Joker cards on them because, well, I've got another pair of boots that I'm going to be getting right now, actually. So let's get out of here. I'll sell my excess equipment later. And let's see what they got around here. Hmm? What do you mean? It doesn't look like much of a door. Oh. Uh, okay. Ah. Nuts. I... I don't know what reference he's making there. Okay, so we gotta get to the St. Gertrude's Monastery. But if you just go down here... And they died. Or we could end up on this bridge somewhere that's actually pretty close to the monastery. So we don't have to walk through a whole bunch of screens to get there. So let's see what they got here. The thing I'm really interested in is the Mercury Shoes. And if you equip one on Killian, he'll be able to move around a lot faster. So let's see what we got here. If I can get to the boots... Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens then. Whee! Now I can outrun enemies, and if I didn't want to fight any more random battles, I don't wouldn't have to. So yeah, that makes ambushing enemies a lot easier. And I'm still gonna sell my excess stuff, though of course you wanna hold on to the hobnail boots that I've already invested some Joker cards into. And I'm gonna invest three more into the Mercury shoes that I just got there. So that way, Killian and... Let's see. I'm going to give the Hobnail Boots to Gelt so that he can get more of a crit rate or will stat because Spinel's already doing pretty good there. 
as well. But can we find the Wicked Stone at St. Gurgis Monastery? Find out next time on Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!